They're doing research that will improve science and medicine, help clean the planet, and improve our lives. In celebration of Black History Month, the American Chemical Society and Nobuchet want to recognize just some of the chemists and chemical engineers making a difference today. Krista LaPrather is an associate professor at MIT. Prather and her team want to help reduce the world's dependence on petroleum products, instead looking to reverse engineer bacteria into chemical factories that can produce biofuels. In most cases, what we're doing is trying to take some natural intermediate that the cell is already converting or making from sugar and then diverting that into a different compound that would be useful as a fuel molecule. Prather wants to use chemistry to help a growing population that faces dwindling resources. Our lives are defined in many ways by the chemistry around us. And I would like to see more of that chemistry coming from something that's sustainable and renewable rather than the fossil fuels. Ken Carter at UMass Amherst wants to make your gadgets better and cheaper. He works with semiconducting polymers, organic materials that can be printed onto sheets of plastic and used for anything from cell phone touch screens to solar panels. In fact, Carter's work could turn your backpack into a phone charger. The great advantage of these organic materials is we're coating on a, a flexible piece of plastic so that when you're walking around during the day you're just absorbing, you know, basically harvesting photons from, from light sources and generating enough power to, to power a battery. Carter's work could also revolutionize medical care. Imagine being able to avoid repeated trips to the doctor. You might design a patch that could monitor uh, different, uh, different things. It could be blood chemistry, it could be reaction to different drugs. In that patch it has maybe the power generation, it has a sensing capability and the telecommunication ability so that you, all you do is put this patch on and then remotely somewhere they can be downloading the information in real time and collecting this and understanding what the patient is going through. Carter wants to expand partnerships so that his research can become a technological reality. We're measurement geeks, measurement and standards geeks. Willie May is the head of laboratory programs at the National Institute of Standards and Technology. It, it's world-class science, but done for a purpose. May supervises six major labs that research everything from atomic clocks to nutritional supplements. They develop standards of measurement, quality control, and experimental control samples for researchers. May's associates, like Bryant Nelson, are trying to make your sunscreen safer. Many sunscreens use titanium dioxide nanoparticle. This product has the capacity to absorb UV radiation or even visible light, which can ultimately uh, induce the formation of free radicals. Now these free radicals can uh, interact with our DNA and cause changes that we want to understand. Ashley Beasley-Green is researching ways to make medical urine tests given every single day a lot more accurate. A lot of the current methods that are used create false positives or false negatives. The nice thing about having a just universal standard that has a certified value is that regardless the method you're using, you have a way to trace your measurements and your, your um, data. So whatever value you receive, you can always trace it back to this NIST standard. World-class research all being done by African-American chemists and chemical engineers across the country. Coming up in our final video of this series on Black History Month. And Professor Sheriff says, but you do the chemistry because you love the chemistry. We'll talk to the mentors that are shaping future generations of chemists and chemical engineers.